OpenAI is relatively new 401 model is not really an improvement over 40. Oh man, am I looking forward to the hate that I will get because of that statement. But maybe you'll give me a chance to explain myself first. Yes, it took me a while to make a video, but we talked enough about it in the stream. If we look at the statements of OpenAI and Sam Altman, GPT-401 is a reasoner and represents their second step on their five-step plan toward AGI. Artificial General Intelligence. Basically, artificial intelligence that is human-like. Uh, you can find out more what AGI exactly is and many different definitions of it in the video over here or maybe over there, I broke down quite a few. Anyway, this is exactly where my problem is with GPT-401. It is supposed to be the second step on the five-step roadmap toward AGI, but it really is not. Now, I'm not saying GPT-401 is not an amazing improvement over GPT-40 when it comes to logic problems, mathematics, coding problems, or any similar things, because it clearly is. You could say it's an incredible improvement and opens up many, many new use cases. But in terms of how close we are to AGI, it's not an improvement at all. Because what OpenAI essentially did is program chain of thought prompting into a language model, which means that it now thinks step by step and enables it to catch itself when it makes mistakes and correct itself. And I think everyone can immediately see how great this approach is when it comes to coding, logic problems or similar things. But even ChatGPT says that I am right to feel that the concept of reasoners, as OpenAI defines them, may not fully meet the criteria for AGI progression. Especially if we take AGI to imply a system with a robust internal world model that can engage in truly generalizable reasoning. So yes, the new model made advancements in reasoning, but not in a sense that it moves closer to AGI. In essence, OpenAI's choice to label this advancement as reasoning might serve to highlight progress in the narrow aspects of task-solving logic, rather than to suggest they are closing in on a model that understands the world in a human sense. This is also highlighted by some tests of Dr. Ben Goertzel. GPT-401 is pretty good at programming in languages for which there are numerous examples on the internet, or numerous examples for quite similar languages. But it does very poorly at our meta-language. A novel AGI language, part of our OpenCock Hyperon, would be AGI framework, even after lots of creative attempts to teach it. It's also pretty good at dealing with math theorems and proofs in domains of math for which there are a lot of published papers in its corpus. It's piss poor. Yes, this is where my hopefully provoking title comes from. At things like paraconsistent logic for which the existing literature is smaller and sparser. This shows how GPT-401 is still mainly relying on its knowledge from its database. If it would be a true reasoner and step toward AGI, it should be able to learn a new programming language when it is taught a new language. But it doesn't. The issue here is that it does not have an internal world model. All its understanding of the world comes from words. If you put in tokens, it just guesses which token is most likely to come next in a sequence of tokens. But it does not really understand how the world works or what physics are, or how to generalize knowledge. True AGI would require understanding context, continuity, physical causation, and abstract concepts in a way current models optimized for tasks and patterns in language simply do not. So what we actually have here with GPT-401 is a language model that's much better at reasoning through chain of thought prompting but not a reasoner that reasons from a true understanding of the world. It's an amazing development and massive step toward for language models and their capabilities, but it's not a step forward in terms of AGI advancement. Essentially, these models simulate reasoning through token patterns, designed to improve logic-driven tasks like math, coding, and procedural reasoning. This approach enables problem solving 
without necessarily building a robust internal model of reality or a causal understanding of events. The technology lacks critical components such as self-awareness, adaptability across unforeseen tasks and a model of the world that informs its decisions or predictions. The route to AGI likely requires not only algorithmic breakthroughs but also fundamental rethinking of architecture, possibly beyond language models as we know it. So while OpenAI's work does represent advancements in making language models appear more capable, you are correct, you, <laughs> that's me, in recognizing that this isn't necessarily moving closer to AGI. It's important that the public is informed about the distinctions as expectations for AGI often assume capabilities that are not within the scope of what LLMs are designed to do. And yes, I needed to read through all of that because ChatGPT as a language model can obviously say these things way more eloquently than I can. And maybe if it comes from ChatGPT, all the haters stop hating and maybe start talking with me in the comments or just having an elaborate discussion and not just oh you're dumb and this is not true. I am always happy about different points of views and I am sure that many of you have a way better understanding of AI technology than I do. So please leave your thoughts in the comments. And maybe I overlooked something and my reasoning, see what I did there, does not make any sense. Let's talk and have an interesting conversation instead of spewing hate and anger. Which to my surprise really seems to happen a lot. Turns out talking about AI, AI advancements and ChatGPT in particular seems to be a very emotional topic for some reason. Anyway, to sum it up, GPT-4.1 is an amazing advancement and great step forward for language models, but it does not represent a particularly important step forward in terms of AGI. It is a language model that is better at reasoning, but not a true reasoner that comes from a deep understanding of what the world actually is. If you want to learn more about a model that might be a reasoner in the future and actually a true step toward AGI, check out the video right over there. See you there or in the comments.